right now we have so many children with the problem that we can't take care of everybody this year. What we'd like you to do is come back next year. We'll be back in October and we'll try to bring more orthopedic doctors, our bone doctors back with us. Because we know there are a lot of children that have this problem like your child. Okay, we'd like to see you back next year. We were finishing up and we were looking forward to um, just finishing up the, a, a long week of cases. So I was relaxing a little bit and uh, the rumor came from the ward that uh, there was a girl who showed up uh, just in time. We get this report that this little girl has just come in and they really want to do her. The mother's like really pleading with us to do her because she's been on a mule for two days on the back of a truck for a couple days and she walked for two days just to get to Operation Smile. They finally arrived that Friday, the last day, and uh, you know, just hoping that we would be able to take their daughter who had suffered from this for seven years. Like, I was really um, surprised when I saw it. I had never seen such a bad cleft lip and palate. If we turn a child down, they've got another year to live with this. I remember one anesthesiologist crying as he was putting her to sleep. Well, I was pretty much saying, I'm not going anywhere until she, until she gets done. And um, to be able to help her and give her a new smile, create like a little miracle on that, it was, it was wonderful. People ford rivers and travel over mountain trails for days to get to the site.